Mighty Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. We glorify your name. We praise you. For you are good God and faithful is your holy name. All the glory and all the honor we give unto you. And we praise you for your wonderful grace and your marvelous work that you have done unto us. Glory, glory to the name of Jesus. Praise to the name of the Lord Jesus. Now we pray that you may speak to us through this word and let the power of the Holy Spirit take over upon this word. That the glory of the Lord shall shine upon each and every of us. O oh God, you are right to illuminate upon our heart. That Lord Jesus, you may teach us, O oh God, according to your will. In the name of Jesus. And I pray for the grace of God and the love of the Lord Jesus. To be upon us all. In Jesus name we do pray and believe. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Asante the yes, cameraman. There is a camera behind you also. The main camera. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Yes. yes. Thank you Jesus. Asante yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, look at your brother. Or your sister. Mutazame ndugu yako yako. Greet her or him. Msalamie. And tell him or her rejoice in the Lord. Na umuambie, katika bwana. That is the message of today. Hiyo ndi ujumbe wa leo. <laughs> rejoice in the Lord Jesus. Katika bwana yesu. There is a need to rejoice. Kuna haja ya kufuraia. And there is a need that, and that's why God is teaching us today. Na yendo sababu mwenyezi munga natufundisha leo. Why we should rejoice. Kwa nini tunasaili kufuraia. And the message is the joy of the Lord. Na ujumbe ni furaha the wabana. joy of the Lord. Uh, Philippians 4.4. Wa Wa Filipo. Philippians 4.4. Wa Filipi nene. Aha. The word of God says this. Nene na sema hivi. 4.4. Philippians. Wa Filipi nene. They say. Nasema. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Furaieni katika Bwana siku zote tena nasema furaieni. That rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Furaieni katika Bwana siku zote tena nasema furaieni. Ah uh, that is the word of God. Hilo ndilo neno la Mungu. Why are we being told to rejoice? Kwa nini tunaambiwa tufurahie? To rejoice always. Kwa nini tunaambiwa tufurahie kila wakati? And to rejoice in the Lord. Kwamba tufurahie katika Bwana. You see the reason we should rejoice. We should rejoice in the Lord. There are people who rejoice out there. But they rejoice in sin. They rejoice in parties. They rejoice in wickedness. But God says to us. That rejoice. And it is always. Always means all the time. That we should rejoice in the road. Again he say rejoice. That is the glory of God. That we like the saint. We should always rejoice. We should always have the joy of the Lord upon us. Because if we lose this joy of the Lord. 
sababu tukiupoteza furaha huu bwana our lord will not be glorified bwana wetu hatatukuzwa you will see as we continue utaona tukiendelea why should we rejoice kwa nini tunasaili kufurahia and the power that lies in rejoicing na ile nguvu ambayo iko katika kufurahia there are many scriptures that we cannot read today kuna maandiko mengi ambayo hatuwezi tukayasoma leo tena jesus and the apostles mahali yesu na mitume they used to tell people rejoice waliishi kuambia watu furahini let the joy of the lord be upon you kwamba wacha furaha ya bwana ikakue ndani yako even angels are recorded hata malaika pia wamenakiliwa speaking and telling people rejoice wakinena wakiambia watu furahini be jo- have joy kwamba kueni na furaha because there is a secret when we have joy upon us kwa sababu kuna siri wakati tuko na furaha ndani yetu haleluya haleluya praise the name of the lord jesus bwana yesu asifiwe there is a secret when we have joy upon us kuna siri wakati tuko na furaha ndani yetu there is a secret when we rejoice kuna siri wakati tunafurahia the people of god na watu wa mungu there is victory that come in rejoicing kuna ushindi ambao unakuja kutokana na furaha there is joy that uh, there is victory that come in joy kuna ushindi ambao unakuja katika furaha and the secret of rejoicing is this na siri ya kufurahia ni hili in the book of nehemiah 8:10 katika kitabu cha nehemiah the bible says the joy of the lord is our strength biblia inasema kwamba furaha ya mwenyezi mungu ndio nguvu yetu haleluya haleluya that the joy of the lord is our strength kwamba furaha ya mungu ndio nguvu yetu so when you don't have joy kwa hivyo wakati hauna furaha then you are weak kwa hivyo uko mdhaifu that means the weakness in the spirit inamaanisha udhaifu katika roho but when we have joy lakini wakati tuko na furaha speak that we have strength inanena kwa inanena kwamba tuko na nguvu there is strength within us kuna nguvu ndani yetu that's why rejoice all the time hiyo ndio sababu unasaili kufurahia kila wakati for god is good kwa sababu mwenyezi Mungu ni mzuri nehemia 8:10 nehemia nehemia 8:10 We see what the word of God say. Nehemiah 8:10. That our kingdom that we have received kwamba ufalme ambao tumeupokea is not a kingdom of becoming sand agre and like uh, we are sorrowful sio ufalme wa kukua na uzuni kukua na makunjufu wa uso the kingdom that we are serving ile ufalme ambao tunaitumikia it's a great kingdom ni ufalme mkuu where hii. people smile Wali, mahali watu wanatamasamu where samu. people have joy mahali watu wako na furaha where people rejoice mahali watu wanashangilia hallelujah hallelujah unless you are in a cult <laughs> where you don't smile where you don't have joy where you don't rejoice mahali huwezi ukafurahia mahali huwezi ukashangilia or you have received a, very, a revelation that if you rejoice you will go to hell ama umepokea ufunuo kwamba ukifurahia utakwenda kuzimu when you smile, when you be happy when you laugh wakati unafurahia wakati unacheka You will go to hell. Utakwenda kuzima. You don't sin when you rejoice. Auni, au utendi dhambi wakati unafurahia. You don't sin when you have joy. Utendi dhambi wakati uko na furaha. Amen. Amen. Nehemiah 8:10 says, Nehemiah 8:10 kumi nasema. Then he said unto them, go your way, eat fat. Kisha eat the aka, fat. Kisha akawaambia, mm. endeni endeni endeneni zenu mm. mle kilichonona and drink the sweet na kunywa kilicho kitamu haleluya and send portion unto them for for whom nothing is prepared tena mpelekeeni sehemu yeye asiyewekewa kitu for this is the this day is holy unto our lord maana siku hii ni takatifu kwa bwana wetu he said neither be you sorry be ye sorry wala msihuzunike for the joy of the lord is your strength kwa kuwa furaha ya bwana ni nguvu yetu haleluya Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Are we hearing the people of Je, God? Tunasikia hiyo watu wa Mungu. That a day like this, kwamba siku kama hii. We are being told that go you away. Kwamba tunaambiwa enendeni njia zenu. When you go you away, wakati unakwenda njia zenu. Go eat the fat. Nenda ukakule vinono. Go buy a meat. Nenda ukanunue na nyama. And the fattest one. Na ile nono sana. And enjoy. Na ukaifurahie. Then drink a sweet thing. Kisha kunywa kitu kitamu. Not bitter. Sio kichungu. Like a, like a, like a, like a something like a soda da kitu kama soda like a sweet kama something kitamu. sweet kitu kitamu haleluya haleluya this is our kingdom hii ni ufalme wetu we are not slaves sisi si watumwa we are called to be happy tumeitwa tuwe watu and to rejoice in the lord na kufurahia katika bwana amen amen it's not time to to sorrow for si, sorrow sio wakati wa huzuni it's not time for mourning sio wakati wa kuombeleza the joy of the lord is our strength roho ya bwana ndio nguvu yetu that when we have known jesus kwamba wakati tumemjua yesu and we are children of jesus 
have every reason to smile. Tuko na kila sababu ya kufurahia. We have every reason to rejoice. Tuko na kila sababu ya kufurahia. And the scripture says, na maandiko inasema, rejoice always. Kwamba furahi kila wakati. Meaning, inamaanisha, even when things are not good, hata wakati mambo hayakuwa vizuri, don't lose the joy of the Lord. Usipoteze furaha yako. Sometimes we may be pushed in the corner. Wakati mwingine unaweza sukumwa kwenye kona. You don't have to be sorry for that. Hauhitaji kuwa wa kuzunika kwa sababu hiyo. Let the joy of the Lord still be shown in you. Wacha furaha ya Bwana ikazidi kuonekana kwako. Let let the rejoicing be still in you. Wacha hiyo furaha bado ibaki ndani yako. You see? Unaona? Sometimes people go through pain. Wakati mwingine watu wanapitia machungu. They go through hard times. Wanapitia mambo magumu. They go through sorrow. Wanapitia maombolezo. But they maintain the joy of the Lord. Lakini furaha ya Bwana inabaki ndani yao. Because it is not the Lord who have done it for you. Kwa sababu sio Bwana amelifanya. It is not the Lord who have brought that sorrow. Kwa sababu sio Mungu ameleta hayo maombi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the joy of the Lord remain in you. Wacha furaha ya Bwana ikabaki ndani yako. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Kwa sababu furaha ya Bwana ndio nguvu yetu. That is the secret. Hiyo ndio siri. Are you weak? Wewe mni mni rejoice. Furahia. Are you going through certain thing? Je, unapitia mambo fulani? Rejoice. Furahia. Are you going through certain battle? Je, unaingia unapitia mambo mavi? Rejoice. Furahia. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Furaha ya Bwana ndio nguvu yetu. When you rejoice in that in that condition, wakati unafurahia katika hali hiyo, you 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 you, you, you receive strength. Unapata nguvu. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Kwa sababu furaha ya Bwana ndio nguvu yetu. So there are things that forces us. Kwa hivyo kuna baadhi ya vitu ambavyo zinatulazimu. Just to have joy. Because we know if we do not have joy we don't have strength. Kwa sababu kama hatuna furaha hatuna nguvu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we don't have to be sorry. Kwa hivyo hatuhitaji kuwa na kukubaliza. Kama kukuwa na huzuni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes things goes through. Kwa wakati mwingine mambo yanakwenda mrama. But we have to find the joy of the Lord. Lakini tunasaili kupata hiyo furaha ya Bwana. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Kwa sababu furaha ya Bwana ndio nguvu yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rejoice I say to you rejoice and again rejoice. Furahia tena ninasema furahia in the road jesus katika bwana yesu we don't rejoice because you have money in our pocket sio kufurahia tu kwa sababu uko na hela mifukoni we don't rejoice because all people love us hatufurahii tu kwa sababu watu wanatupenda we don't rejoice because there are people who do not reject us hatufurahii kwa sababu hata kuna watu wanatukataa we reject we rejoice because of the joy of the road tunafurahia kwa sababu ya furaha ya bwana we are children of god sisi ni watoto wa bwana and the bible say na biblia inasema blessed are you mbarikiwa ni yule when you go through all those kind of temptations wakati unapita katika majaribu hayo trials, hiyo majaribu because of righteousness kwa sababu ya uhaki rejoice furahia no don't be sorry usikuwe but rejoice lakini furahia and be happy in the lord na furahia katika bwana because the joy of the lord is our strength kwa sababu furaha ya bwana ndio nguvu yetu in our weakness katika udhaifu wetu let us rejoice wacha tukafurahia but when we rejoice wakati tunafurahia the joy of the lord brings strength furaha ya bwana inaleta nguvu upon our life kwa maisha yetu amen amen Clap for Jesus. Pigia Yesu makofi. Clap for Jesus. Pigia Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you rejoicing? Je, yeah, unafurahia? Are you rejoicing? Unafurahia kweli? Or you are mourning? Ama una unaomboleza? First the Saronian. You know, you Unajua. cannot hide if you are rejoicing. Uwezi ukaficha kama unafurahia. It's like those who are telling us here rejoice, rejoice and again rejoice. Kama wale walikuwa natuambia hapa tufurahie, tufurahie. But they cannot hide. Lakini hawezi wakaficha. This is wonderful. Hii ni inashangaza. Somebody who is rejoicing, he Mut, does not need, need even to speak. Mtu ambaye anafurahia hahitaji hata kuzungumza. You look at him like that. Unamtazama tu hivyo. You feel something. Unahisi kitu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he is rejoicing. Kwa sababu wako na hiyo furaha. The face look where. Imani inakaa mzuri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Rejoice and again rejoice. Furahia tena furahia. Hey, the joy comes inside. Furaha inakuja kutoka ndani. You cannot fake the joy that come inside. Hauwezi ukaiweka ikawa. Hallelujah, you cannot fake, you cannot hide the joy when it comes inside of you. Uwezi ukaficha ile furaha wakati imekuja ndani yako. Because people will be asking you. Kwa sababu watu watakuwa na. And why do you today you look like uh, as if things are good? <laughs> ni kwa nini leo unaonekana kama mambo ni mzuri? Why? Kwa nini? You look as if you are rejoicing. Unaonekana ni kama unafurahia. And you have not spoken. Na hata hujanena. Because true joy cannot be hidden. Kwa sababu furaha ya kweli haiwezi ikafichika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the joy of the Lord be upon you. Wacha furaha ya Bwana ikawe juu yako. Amen. Amen. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Kwa sababu furaha ya Bwana ndio nguvu yako. Glory to Jesus. Tukufu kwa Yesu. First Thessalonians 5. Wa Thessalonike wa 5:5. First Thessalonians. You know, unajua 
I cannot mourn when I was in sin. I cannot be like the same way I was bounded and bounded by the devil. That time I did not have a joy. I was sorry for myself. I was mourning. I was disappointed. I was angry and sad. Amen. But when I come to Jesus, I have a reason to, 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 to have joy. And to rejoice. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Glory to Jesus. There is joy in the road. May you receive this revelation. The Thessalonians are 1st 5.16. 5.16. What of God say? Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus Ma concerning you. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Wanesu Jesus. Asifiwe. Yes. Ndiyo. That we need to rejoice. And in everything in prayer. Na kwa kila kitu kwa maombi. In everything give thanks to God. Na kwa kila kitu For this mungu. is the goodness of the Lord. Kwa sababu hayo ndiyo mapenzi ya mwenyezi mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Furaha ya Bwana ndiyo nguvu yangu. So what about the sorrow? Kwa hivyo uh, sorrow. What about the sorrow that you have? Maomboleje? Maomboleje ni uko nayo. It has become your weakness. Inakuja inakuwa udhaifu wako. Are you understanding? Je, unaelewa hapo? Your sorrow is your weakness. Maombolezi yako ndio udhaifu wako. Tell your brother. Mwambie ndugu yako. You don't have a brother. Wewe una ndugu. Good brother. Why are you sick? Kwa nini uko peke yako? Why are you sick? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Ndiyo. tell somebody. Ambia mtu. Your sorrow is your weakness. Kwamba maombolezi yako ndio udhaifu wako. Yes, your Ndiyo. sorrow is your weakness. Maombolezi yako ndio udhaifu wako. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. Lakini furaha ya Bwana ndio nguvu yako. So if you if you have sorrow. Kwa hivyo kama uko na maombolezi. That is your weakness. Hiyo ndio udhaifu wako. That means you are wounded. Hiyo inamaanisha kwamba uko na uko na kidonda. You are attacked. Kwamba umevamiwa. Hey, hey. It is the truth. Hii ndio kweli. We are not yet. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you one thing. When the devil want to attack you, he takes your joy. Through our force. When the devil want to attack you, he takes your joy. Man of God, come here. Man of God, come here. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's come pray. for Jesus. Wacha tumpigie Yesu makofi. Hallelujah. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Furaha ya Bwana ndio nguvu yetu. So when the devil want to attack you, Kwa hivyo wakati shetani anataka kukuvamia. He takes you a hot. Anachukua nini? Your joy. Furaha yako. You hear some people unasikia watu wengine when they are about to commit the suicide wakati wanataka kujitoa uhai the joy of the lord is removed furaha ya bwana inatolewa sorrow comes in maombolezi inakuja ndani anger depression hata hasira na pia kuzunika they feel depressed wanahisi kuzunika ndani sana hallelujah hallelujah they feel even sorry for themselves wanahisi hata kujionea huruma when the devil want to knock you down wakati shetani anataka kukuangusha chini watch out for the joy of the lord angalia sana furaha ya bwana when a christian won't even to fall the devil takes the joy of the Lord. Because you know the joy of the Lord is your strength. So when he gives you sorrow, he has taken the joy which is your strength. So you become weak. And then he knock you down. Amen. Amen. Do we understand? So let us maintain the joy of the Lord upon us. Let us maintain the joy of the Lord upon us. When you don't have the joy of Wakati the Lord, ya bwana, you attract another spirit roho nyingine, which is not the spirit of God roho ya bwana, but the spirit of the devil. Roho wa and if you are in the spirit, na wakati uko you roho, will feel that thing. Kitu. If somebody comes to you Kama mutu and na he wewe, doesn't have the joy of the Lord, na hana ya bwana, he has sorrow, depression. You will feel a crowd of darkness within you. That there is a an evil presence that is around you. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Those that are in spirit, they know what they are speaking. But somebody that 
come in the joy of the Lord. Wakati mtu anakuja na furaha ya Bwana. You will feel the presence of God. Utahisi uwepo wa Bwana. What does the Bible say? Biblia inasema nini? That the fruits of the Holy Spirit joy. Kwamba matunda ya Roho mtakatifu ni furaha. You have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Kama uko na matunda ya Roho mtakatifu. You have the joy. Uko na furaha. So the spirit of the Holy, the Holy Spirit himself. Kwa hivyo matunda ya Roho mtakatifu mwenyewe. Number one character is joy. Tabia ya kwanza ni furaha. And if you don't have the Holy Spirit. Na kama una Roho mtakatifu. If you lose him. Ukimpoteza. You don't have joy. Hauna furaha. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Kwa sababu furaha ya Bwana ndio nguvu yetu. So it, the spirit of the Lord in you is your strength. Kwa hivyo roho ya Bwana ndani yako inakupatia nguvu. That's why not by power, not by might, but by the spirit. Hiyo ndio sababu sio kwa nguvu wala kwa mlaka. The spirit within us. Roho ambayo yuko ndani yetu. The Holy Spirit. Roho mtakatifu. The joy within us. Furaha ndani yetu. We overcome. Tutashinda. Temptation, majaribu, trials, majaribu yote, accusation, hata kuwekewa nani, hata battle, vita we yote. overcome them by the joy of the Lord. Tutavishinda kwa furaha ya Bwana. Amen. Amen. But if you don't have the joy of the Lord, lakini kama una furaha ya Bwana, the devil has has was has won you. Shetani amekushinda tayari. He has won you the first place. Amekushinda tayari. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maintain the joy of the Lord upon your life. Ishikilie furaha ya Bwana ndani ya maisha yako. Never let anything take the joy of the Lord upon you. Usiwache kitu chochote kichukue furaha ya Bwana ndani yako. David is crying for God. Daudi anamlilia Bwana. Oh God restore to me the joy of the Lord. Eh Bwana nirudishie furaha ya Bwana. Take everything upon me. Chukua kila kitu kwangu. But don't take your Holy Spirit. Lakini usichukue roho wako mtakatifu. It comes in the joy of the Lord. Amba inakuja kwa furaha ya Bwana. Amen. Amen. Even everything Patie kila kitu. Everything may go. Kila kitu kinaweza you may kwenda. lose everything. Unaweza poteza like kila kitu. Job. Like kama kazi. Lose your, fi- your family. Upoteze hata familia. Lose your properties. Upoteze mali yako. Lose friends. Upoteze hata na marafiki. But don't lose the joy of the Lord upon you. Usipoteze furaha ya Bwana ndani yako. Amen. Amen. Don't lose the joy of the Lord. Usipoteze furaha ya Bwana. Let the joy of the Lord be upon you. Wacha furaha ya Bwana iwe ndani yako. For that yako. is our strength. Kwa sababu hiyo ndio nguvu yetu. As a saint. Kama watakatifu. That is our fuel. Hiyo ndio mafuta yetu. That is a fuel to keep on going. Hiyo ndio mafuta ambayo inatutia nguvu kwa Are we are we are we walking? Je, tunatembea? Are we moving? Je, tunaenenda? You need the joy of the Lord to keep on moving. Unahitaji furaha ya Bwana ukazidi kuendelea. Is it ministry? Kwa huduma? Is it a family? Je, ni kwa familia? Is it in in the salvation? katika wokovu pia the, 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 the fuel that you need is the joy of the Lord ile mafuta ambayo unahitaji ni furaha ya Bwana if you don't have that fuel kama una hiyo mafuta you will not keep on moving uwezi ukaendelea you will be hurt uta, uta, you reach a point utafika mahali feel discouraged utahisi feel ukweka. disappointed uhisi kugadhabika and say it is over na useme imeisha i feel i don't have strength na hisi sina nguvu tena I have waited so much. Nimengoja sana. Let the joy of the Lord be upon you. Wacha furaha ya Bwana iwe juu yako. And we will wait upon the Lord. Na utamngoja Mwenyezi Mungu. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That's the secret of the joy of the Lord. Hiyo ndio siri ya furaha ya Bwana. It is your strength. Ndio nguvu yako. In every time. Kwa kila wakati. In every where that you are. Kwa kila mahali ambapo ulipo. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Wacha furaha ya Bwana iwe nguvu yako. And I tell you. Na nakuambia. You shall overcome everything. Utashinda kila kitu. Because as I told you. Kwa sababu vile nilikwambia Rack of joy kukosa furaha ah uh, is a sign that you are under attack ni ishara kwamba umevamiwa sometime let me tell you wakati mwingine wacha nikwambie the devil may bring certain news shetani anaweza leta habari fulani to you kwako just to take out the joy of the Lord upon you ili kupata kutoa tu ile furaha ya bwana kwako do you understand je unaelewa that you may be you may have joy kwamba unaweza kuwa na furaha and the devil knows na shetani anajua i i i When you have joy, wakati uko na furaha, you have strength. Uko na nguvu. So I am looking away. Kwa hivyo ninatafuta njia. To remove njia. this joy of God upon you. Kutoa hii furaha ya Bwana ndani yako. So you bring certain things. Kwa hivyo ataleta baadhi ya vitu. You hear certain things. Utasikia baadhi ya vitu. Maybe speaking about you. Labda kuongea kukuhusu. And they will they will they, they will they will hurt you. Na itakuumiza. And the devil will take away the joy of the Lord. Kisha shetani atatoa ile furaha ya Bwana. One he, the joy of the Lord is taken out. Wakati ile furaha imetolewa, you become sorry. Unakuwa sasa you invite that spirit of the devil unavutia sasa ile ile roho ya shetani haleluya haleluya he start giving you depression inaanza kukupatia mawazo many thoughts mawazo mengi you sin unatenda dhambi you judge una, una hukumu pia praise the name of the lord Jesus. Jesus. you feel trampled unahisi kuvurugwa amen amen 
You don't focus upon God. Haukui na makini na Mungu. You start focusing upon the reports and upon people. Unaanza kuweka umakini wako kwa ujumbe wa watu. The joy of the Lord is not in you. Kupitia kwa hiyo furaha ya Bwana haiko ndani yako. And the Holy Spirit is not all also in you. Na Roho Mtakatifu pia hayuko kwako. You become sad. Unakuwa sasa You become violent. Unakuwa na vurugu. You have the spirit of revenge. Unakuwa na roho ya kulipisha kisasi. That time the Holy Spirit is not with you. Wakati huo Roho Mtakatifu hayuko na wewe. The devil is attacking you now. Shetani anakupiga sasa. Because he has the freedom. Kwa sababu wako na You don't have any protection with you. Ana una ulinzi wowote kwako. That's how the devil does. Hivyo ndivyo shetani anafanya. He takes the joy of the Lord. Anachukua furaha ya Bwana. When he wants to attack you. Wakati anataka kukuvamia. Amen. Amen. So we may hear things. Kwa hivyo tunaweza sikia vitu. But let the joy of the Lord be upon. Lakini wacha furaha ya Bwana bado ibaki ndani yako. It's like a priest ni kama tu ni who want to go to preach ambaye anataka kwenda kuhubiri or a woman ama mwanamke who want to go to serve god ambaye anataka kwenda kumtumikia mungu but before he come out of the house lakini kabla atoke kwa nyumba ah, his husband bwana wake he speaks a word that are sharp ana neno maneno ambayo ni makali kwake not knowing that the devil uses him pasipo kujua kwamba shetani anamtumia to hurt the heart of the, of the wife amuumize roho wa bibi yake so that the joy of the lord will not be there ndipo sa furaha ya bwana ikapate kutoka kwake when she go to serve god na wakati anaenda kumtumikia bwana there is no joy of the lord hakuna furaha ya bwana will the spirit of god work je roho wa bwana atafanya she will kazi. serve but she is serving just to serve anatumika lakini atatumika tu ili kupata kutumika amen, amen. because he is under attack kwa sababu amevamiwa praise jesus bwana yesu the devil is against your your, your joy Shetani yako kinyume na furaha yako. So don't give the devil your joy. Kwa hivyo usipatie shetani furaha yako. When you are in sorrow, wakati uko katika when uzuni, you are feeling like sad depressed, wakati unahisi kama umekuwa mnyonge na ni that, na uzuni. That what that when the joy the devil rejoices. Hapo ndipo shetani anafurahia. The devil rejoices when you are you are in depression. Shetani anafurahia wakati umeuzunika. But when you are rejoicing, lakini wakati uko na furaha, he become weak. Anakuwa mnyonge. Because he's our enemy. Kwa sababu ni adui wetu. It is our enemy. Ni adui yetu. You see, unaona when you are in the world wakati ulikuwa katika dunia and when you used to have enemy na wakati ulikuwa na maadui like maybe this is my enemy kwamba huyu ndiye adui yangu on those days katika siku zile because you are walking in fresh kwa sababu ulikuwa unatembea katika mwili when you see him sleep uh, crying ukimuona akilia you feel well unafurahia unafurahia you feel well unahisi vizuri you feel revenged una feel unahisi kama umelipishiwa you see you see even smile unafurahia unatabasamu pia you hear what he is going through unasikia kile ambacho anapitia and you rejoice unafurahia sana That's how the devil does. Hivyo ndivyo shetani anafanya. The devil watches upon you. Shetani anakuangalia. When you are in depressed, wakati uko na huzuni. When you don't have joy of the Lord. Wakati hauna furaha ya Bwana. When you don't rejoice. Wakati haufurahi. Yeah, the devil say good. Shetani anasema mzuri sana. And he love. Ame ndiye anapenda. He say yes, I love this. This what I love. Hiki ndicho ninapenda. Because the devil is, is the enemy. Kwa sababu shetani ni adui. And he don't want you to be happy. Na hataki ufurahie. That's why he torment people. Hivyo ndivyo anahuzunisha watu. With his sickness na gonjwa he torment ana, ana he afflict anapiga watu anatesa watu anatesa watu so that you may lose the joy of the lord kupoteza hiyo furaha ya bwana and when you lose the joy of the lord na wakati umepoteza furaha you don't see the goodness of god auoni uzuri wa mungu even in your prayer hata katika maombi yako you are where, where are you now god uko wapi sasa do you see Unawana? because when you lose the joy of the lord wakati umepoteza furaha ya bwana you don't glorify god au mtukuzi mungu but you glorify the devil lakini unatukuza shetani even in your testimony hata katika ushuhuda wako you speak only the devil unaongea tu shetani the devil has attacked me shetani amenivamia you don't glorify god au mtukuzi mungu amen amen But when you are rejoicing lakini wakati unafurahia you glorify God unamtukuza Mungu that God is good kwamba Mungu ni mzuri amen amen praise the name of the Lord Jesus asifiwe. so kwa hivyo the devil brings sorrows shetani analeta huzuni to attack your joy kupiga vita furaha and we should be careful for that na unastahili kuwa mwangalifu sana kwa hilo haleluya haleluya that's how demon possess people hivyo ndivyo mapepo yanawapaga wa watu it is we that give them ni sisi ndio tunawapatia you rusa. give them the permission to Uno, attack you unawapatia ruhusa ya kukuvamia if you allow depression ukiruhusu huzuni if you allow anger ukiruhusu nini asira if you allow to be sorry uki, 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 sorrowful ilema. that's a moment of sorrowful ndio amen suni sorry <laughs> eh Uzuni, uzuni. Yes, you allow the devil. Wakati unaruhusu shetani. You open the door to the devil. Unafungua mlango kwa shetani. And you find out. Na unapata kwamba that if it is morning, kama ni kuhuzunika. 
if it is morning time kama ni wakati wa asubuhi you have ruined the whole of the day umearibu siku mzima because you allowed the devil kwa sababu ulimruhusu shetani to take the joy of the lord upon kuchukua furaha ya bwana ndani yako amen amen refuse kata in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu that the devil you not take the joy of the lord upon atachukua furaha ya bwana kwako for the joy of the lord is my strength kwa sababu furaha ya bwana ndio nguvu yako even if i see this one hata nikiangalia hapa chini even if i see us there is no hope hata nikiona kwamba hakuna tumaini i will still have joy in the lord bado nitakuwa na furaha kwa bwana even if my family is not at peace hata kama familia yangu haiko katika amani even if there is violence hata kama kuna vurugu in the business hata katika biashara in the family hata katika familia i have the joy joy of the lord because my joy does not depend upon this world kwa sababu furaha yangu haiangalii dunia hii glory to jesus utukufu kwa yesu glory to jesus utukufu kwa yesu that's why jesus said hiyo ndio sababu yesu anasema give you peace kwamba nitakupatia amani that the world does not know ambaye dunia haijui i will give you joy nitakupatia furaha that the world do not even know ambaye dunia hata haijui they will wonder how watashangaa hii ilikuwa you don't have job hauna kazi you have been at home for one week umekuwa nyumbani kwa muda wiki moja and I, when i look at you na wakati ninakuangalia you are smiling bado unatabasamu you are rejoicing unafurahia you seem to have peace unakani kama uko na amani are you mad wewe ni wazimu what's wrong with you ni nini mbaya na wewe because i have the joy of the lord kwa sababu niko na furaha ya bwana and the joy does not come from money na furaha haikuji kutoka kwa pesa it comes from the lord jesus inakuja kutoka kwa bwana wetu because i know my my redeemer is kwa sababu ninajua mkombozi wangu anaishi so i have gotten joy from him kwa hivyo nimepata furaha kutoka kwake amen Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us be like Job. Wacha tuwe kama Ayubu. Job. Ayubu. His joy was not robbed. Furaha yake haikuangushwa. Even if everything was taken. Hata kama kila kitu kilichukuliwa. The joy of the Lord was still his strength. Furaha ya Bwana bado ilikuwa ndani yake. He had a reason to glorify God. Alikuwa na sababu ya kumtukuza Mungu. He had a reason to smile. Alikuwa na sababu ya kutabasamu. Amen. Amen. Where is your joy in? Furaha yako iko wapi? If you have put your joy in people. Ukiweka furaha yako kwa watu, you will lose your joy. Utapotea If your you your you your joy is in the world kama furaha yako iko katika dunia then you will lose your joy but, basi utaipotea but if your joy is in the lord lakini kama furaha yako iko katika bwana you will remain uh, rejoicing utabaki ukiwa na furaha because you are with the lord kwa sababu uko na bwana hallelujah hallelujah that's why rejoice ndio sababu ufurahie i tell you na ninakuambia rejoice again furahia tena in the lord jesus katika Yesu Kristo. When we rejoice, wakati unafurahia, we overcome even the devil. Tunashinda hata shetani. Because when we rejoice, kwa sababu wakati tunafurahia, we have the joy of the Lord. Tuko na furaha ya Bwana. The spirit of God is upon us. Roho wa Bwana yu ndani yetu. And when we have joy, na wakati tuko na hiyo furaha, we are confident. Tuko na hiyo umakinifu. And the devil will flee. Na shetani atapotea. But when you don't have joy, lakini wakati hauna furaha, that means you are under attack. Hiyo inamaanisha kwamba umevamiwa. And you don't have the confidence. Na una hiyo umakinifu. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We refuse. Tunakataa. We refuse to be taken away the joy of the Lord. Tunakataa furaha kuchukuliwa kwetu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. We refuse the devil to torment us. Tunakataa shetani kutuangaisha. Because we are called for the joy of the Lord. Kwa sababu tunakwenda kwa furaha ya Bwana. Psalms 16:11. Zaburi Psalms 16:11. Zaburi 16. Psalms 16:11. It is an evidence that when there, there is joy the presence of God is around you. Ni ushuhuda kwamba wakati kuna furaha uwepo wa Bwana huu ndani yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at that. Angalia hili. 16:11. Thou will show me the path of life. Utanijulisha njia ya uzima. Thou you will show me the path of life. Utanijulisha njia ya uzima. In your presence is fullness of joy. Mbele za uso wako ziko furaha tele. At your right hand there are, there are pleasures forevermore. Katika mkono wako wa kuume mna mema ya milele. You see? Unaona? If we are reading it, it, it don't stop us uh, opening the scriptures. Wacha kufungua nini? You just Nandiko. listen. Wewe sikiza tu. We have everything. Tuko na kila kitu. Kiswahili igrishi yeah, so wa. why disturb yourself kwa nini ujisumbue the devil is so wise when you are disturbing yourself the message has passed what's wrong with you nini nakusumbua <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah Let us read again. Wacha tusome tena. Thou will show me the path of life. Utanijulisha njia ya uzima. In your presence is fullness of joy. Mbele za uso wako ziko furaha tele. At your right hand there is pressure forevermore. Na katika mkono wako wa kuume mna mema ya milele. Glorious. That in your presence there is fullness of joy. Kwamba 
Kwa uwepo wako kuna utimilifu wa furaha. Do you have the presence of God? Je, uko na uwepo wa Bwana? There must be fullness of joy. Lazima kuwe na utimilifu wa furaha. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Galatians 5 say what? The, the, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, joy, Kwa joy. Matunda ya Roho Mtakatifu furaha. So the evidence of the presence of God is within you. Kwamba ushahidi wa kwamba uwepo wa Bwana huu ndani yako. Joy of the Lord. Ni furaha ya Bwana. The joy of the Lord. Furaha ya Bwana. Should be seen upon you. Ikae ndani yako. And you should not fake. Na you should not try to fake it. Usifake it. When you try to fake, wakati unataka kuiweka uongo, you are faking. Utaonekana tu. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Asifiwe. Because what is in your heart speak more. Kwa sababu kile ambacho kiko ndani yako kwa roho yako inaonena sana. More than what you, you may think. Zaidi ya kile ambacho unaweza fikiria. The joy of the Lord. Furaha ya Bwana. That in your presence. Kwamba kwa uwepo wako there is fullness of joy. Kuna utimilifu wa furaha. So if you have the presence of God. Kwa hivyo kama uko na uwepo wa Bwana. The joy of the Lord is upon you. Furaha ya Bwana iko juu yako. Praise Jesus Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And that the joy that we should be having. Na hiyo ndio furaha ambayo tunaweza kuwa nayo. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Where the presence the presence of God is there is freedom. Kwamba wakati uwepo wa Bwana uko katika uhuru and where the presence of God there is a peace. Na wakati uwepo wa Bwana kuna amani. And where the presence of God there is joy. Na mahali uwepo wa Bwana kuna furaha pia. And that the praise is is assurance that, that there is the presence of God. Na hapo kuna uhakika kwamba kuna uwepo wa Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Asifiwe. Sometime wakati mwingine you just dream a dream unaota tu unaota okay? ndoto you dream a dream unaota ndoto and when you dream the dream na wakati unaota ndoto in the dream katika ndoto you may feel the joy of the lord unahisi unaweza hisi furaha ya bwana and automatically in the morning na asubuhi you will say utasema that was a good dream hiyo ilikuwa ni ndoto nzuri the praise I, I, i feel there, there was joy mahali niliisi kulikuwa na furaha so the presence of god was there kwa hivyo uwepo wa bwana ulikuwa pale so there there is no devil kwa hivyo pale hakuna shetani <laughs> but there is another dream lakini kuna ndoto nyingine even dream ambayo pia umeota even if you will be eating hata kama utakula but you feel ndoto. there is no joy lakini unahisi hakuna you, you are depressed umehuzunika when you wake up wakati unaamka that dream is of the devil hiyo ndoto ni ya shetani hallelujah hallelujah just because of the presence kwa sababu ya uwepo so when you are in the presence of no joy kwa kwa sababu kwa hivyo wakati uko katika uwepo ambao hakuna furaha there is a devil within you kuna shetani kati yako that you need to rebuke ambayo unastahili kumkemea in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu hallelujah hallelujah because when the devil come upon you kwa sababu wakati shetani anakuja kwako he oppress you anakugandamiza he oppress you anakugandamiza and then he remove the joy of god kisha anaondoa anaondoa hiyo furaha ya bwana you have become disfigured uso wako unakunjamana When you are when somebody speak to you wakati mtu anaongea na wewe you are rude unamjibu vibaya don't you see wewe uone you are rude unakuwa unakuwa rude you don't want to do something na hutaki kufanya kitu and when you do it you do it with uh, na wakati unafanya unaifanya na roho mbaya the devil it has already attacked you shetani tayari amekuvamia the joy of the lord is your strength furaha ya bwana ndio nguvu yako in your presence kwa uwepo There is joy kuna furaha but when your presence is not there lakini wakati uwepo wa uko the presence of demons uwepo wa mapepo na ma demons mapepo is in the presence watakuwa katika uwepo huo hello hello praise the name of the lord jesus yesu asifiwe are we reasoning je tunasikiza are we hearing je tunasikiza don't give demons over your life your life usipatie shetani nafasi katika maisha yako the devil kemea shetani because one door to the devil kwa sababu mlango mmoja kwa shetani they come in fort wanakuja kwa wingi they come they come more of them wanakuja kwa wingi sana demon of anger shetani wa asira evil thought wale wa mawazo machafu revenge wale wa kulipisha kisasa drunkenness wale wa ulevi pia yes after the pressure i feel to drink ndio baada ya mauzuni mingi unahisi kukunywa pombe i feel anger na hisi na asira you see Nona. So you open a door for the demons. Kwa hivyo umefungua mlango kwa mapepo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in the, the joy of the Lord. Kwa hivyo kwa katika furaha ya Bwana. Your presence is fullness of joy. Kwa uwepo wako unatimilizwa ufuraha. And he say. Na inasema. At your right hand there are, there are precious evermore. Kwamba katika mkono wako wa kuume mna mema ya milele precious evermore mema ya milele those are what we say in the lord jesus we have pressure hayo ndio baadhi ya mambo ambayo tunasema kwamba katika bwana kuna furaha amen amen yani tuko na raha katika kristo tuko na raha katika kristo raha sio ile ya dunia raha sio ile 
but in the Lord Jesus, we have pressures. We have rejoicing. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. That is why, if your salvation, you don't have joy, look at yourself. Because it's either you will become a saint, or you become a witch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. In the salvation that we know, it's a rejoicing salvation. It is either two things. You become a witch or a saint. Saint do have joy. But the witch, they don't have joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Bwana Jesus. Yesu Let us rejoice in the Lord and again rejoice. Wacha tufraie katika Bwana na tena tufraie. Because rejoicing it's a mark that the spirit of God is upon you. Kwa sababu kufurahia ni alama kwamba nguvu wa Bwana uko ndani yako. The presence of God is upon you. Uwepo wa Bwana uko ndani yako. You see? Unaona? Ah, uh, we are trying to destroy. Tunajaribu kuharibu this form of Christianity. I nini? That has come right now. Where people haribu. say they are Christian. Watu you go to Christo. church, you look at people. Kwa nisa they say, I'm watu. born again. I'm set free. Nisima, upia, tume, tume huru. But when you look at them, wangalia, they look like witch. Kama wachawi. They are face. Uso, nyuso zao, there is no joy. Hakuna furaha. They look as if they are being tormented. Wanaishi, wanakani, kama wame, sana. They don't smile. Hawa, they look so serious. Wanakana umakinifu mwingi sana. And you wonder. Na unashanga. Is this what you mean you are born again? Je, hii ndio unamaanisha kwamba umezaliwa upya? When we look at you we Wa, see you don't have freedom. Wakati tunapoangalia tunaona hauko huru. You are bounded. Bado umefungwa. Amen. Amen. Somebody that is bounded. Mtu bado amefungwa. He don't have peace freedom. Ana amani hana uhuru. He is look as if he disfigured. Ana ana uso wake una kama umekunja mana. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. But somebody that has the joy of the Lord. Lakini mtu ambaye akona furaha ya Bwana. Who is born again? Ambaye amezaliwa upya. He is healthy. Akona healthy. Afya nzuri. Spiritually. Katika kiroho. Do you know the probe to measure you are healthy? Je, unajua kiwango cha kupima nini? For spirit. It is joy. Do you understand? Even you know. When, when you look at your child. Like parenting. If a child is not uh, praying, praying. Look at, uh, at the child. At the corner. So dark. He, he seems so dark. Yani amekuwa mweusi. <laughs> you see, something is wrong. Unaona, unajua, kuna what is kibaya. eating my child? Ni nini kinakula mtoto wangu? Either there is a sickness. Labda kuna ugonjwa. Or either there is a devil. Ama kuna shetani. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So that is how we measure. Hivyo ndivyo tunapima kiwango. The kiwango. spirit of people. Roho nini? Roho za According to their joy. Kulingana na furaha zao. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There are those people who say. Kuna wale watu ambao wanasema. That we have to, we are, that there are those who rejoice in sin. Kwamba kuna wale wanafurahia katika dhambi. When they rejoice you see they are happy. Wakati wanafurahia unaona wako na furaha sana. But it is a fake. Lakini ni ya ku a fake rejoicing. Ni furaha ya kutengeneza. Because when you look at them. Kwa sababu wakati una they, are they don't have peace. It shows that they don't have peace. Amen. 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 So it is a fake peace. But those who have been transformed from the inside. There is a total transformation. That says that for sure you are set free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So how to measure yourself. How to measure yourself of spiritually. If you are healthy, watch upon the joy of the Lord upon you. When you feel as if you don't have peace, spiritually, kiroho. Your health is not good spiritually. There is battle within you. There is some attack within you. The devil is trying to attack your soul. Pray. 
Omba. Pray Omba. and pray against that spirit na uombe kinyume na roho that is trying to oppress you. Fight against this Pigana nayo. until you have joy of the Lord. Mbaka wakati uwe na furaha ya Bwana. Amen. Amen. That's why when you sing you, you rejoice. Unafuraia. The spirit of God come upon roho you na na and yako. you feel the hair of the spiritually. Na Amen. Amen. But when you don't have that joy you shrink and shrink. Uta, Utajikunja, utajikunja you continue kabisa. dying spiritually. You see? Unaona? The joy of the Lord is our strength. Furaha ya Bwana ndio nguvu yetu. Maintain the joy of the Lord upon you. Ishikilie furaha ya Bwana ndani yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Bwana Jesus. Yesu asifiwe. So that others when they see you. Kwa hivyo ndio pasa wengine wakikuona. They may see the kingdom that you are. Wapate kuona ufalme ambao umo ndani. The people of the world. Watu wa dunia the people of the world watu wa dunia there are those that have the third eye kuna wale wako na macho the third eye jicho la tatu au macho ya tatu and they can see you na wanaweza wakakuona if you are born again or you are not born again kama umezaliwa upi ama bado hujazaliwa upi because the joy of the lord upon you kwa sababu furaha ya bwana ndani yako it is speak that the spirit of god is in you inanena kwamba roho wa bwana yuko ndani yako praise the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe but they can look at you and say lakini wanaweza wakakuangalia na wasema you are still ours wewe bado ni wetu you are bounded wewe bado uko katika kifungu you look even like a slave unakaa ni kama nini mtumwa bado do you see that je unaona hiyo sometimes when we say let us worship god wakati mwingine tukisema wacha tukamwabudu bwana you are you are hands are 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 like are, you are arrested mikono yako ni kama imefungwa huko nyuma spiritually you are arrested nini kiroho umefungwa do you see unaona Rejoice. Furaia. Rejoice. Furaia. You cannot rejoice. Hawezi ukafurahia. When you are arrested. Wakati umefungwa. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You cannot rejoice. Hawezi furaia. And your face is not rejoicing. Na uso wako haufurahii. Amen. Amen. It is a fruit that cannot be hid. Ni matunda ambayo hayawezi kafichika. So, kwa hivyo. There are a lot of people who need deliverance. Watu wengi wanahitaji kukumbuka. Pastor, there are many people who need deliverance. Kuna watu wengi wanahitaji kukumbuka. For the spirit of oppression, kutoka kwa roho ya kwa the spirit of depression, kwa roho za uzuni. Yes, the spirit is tormenting them within. Kuna maroho ambayo inawavuruga ndani yao. Taking their joy away. Inachukua furaha yao. Rejoice and again rejoice in the Lord. Furaha na tena ufurahie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Lord has made I will rejoice I will rejoice we need and be glad in him this is the day this Lord has made I will rejoice and it is the day this is the day Lord has made don't rejoice in this day. Kwa hivyo kama hufurahii kwa siku hii. Shall you rejoice? Je, utafurahia lini? Amen. Amen. Do you see there is my demons? Je, unaona kuna mapepo? That need to be cast out. Ambayo inasaidia kufukuzwa. Because I don't believe. Kwa sababu siamini. That you, when you go to job that when you rejoice. Kwamba wakati umekwenda kazini ndipo sasa unafurahia. And job have their strengths. Na kazini kuna mawazo za kwao. But on Sunday you cannot rejoice. Lakini siku ya kanisa uwezi ukafurahia. When we gather you cannot rejoice. Wakati tumekusanyika uwezi ukafurahia. What wrong with you? Ni nini mbaya na wewe? What is this that is oppressing you? Ni nini hii ambayo inakukandamiza? And taking your joy away. Na inachukua furaha yako mbali na wewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must rejoice in the Lord Jesus. Tufurahie katika Bwana Yesu. If we have freedom. Kama tuko uhuru. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us continue to read. Wacha tuendelee kusoma. When you read in the book of Galatians 5:22, wakati unasoma wa Galatia 5:22, just, just an evidence. Kwa ushuhuda tu. Just an evidence 5:22. Wa Galatia Fight to say but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith lakini tunda la roho mm. tunda la roho ni upendo furaha amani uvumilivu utu wema fadhili uaminifu yes ndio so that is the fruit of the spirit kwa hiyo ndio matunda ya roho joy and peace furaha na amani that's the good evidence to know, to know to know ya kujua kwamba the spirit of god is within you kwamba roho mtakatifu wa bwana yuko ndani yako how do i know if i have the holy spirit nitajuaje kama niko na roho mtakatifu now you know sasa umejua praise jesus bwana yesu asifiwe how do i know if i'm walking in the flesh ninajuaje kama ninatembea katika mwili 19 now the work of the flesh are manifest are those adultery fornication uncleanness 
a viciousness idolatry witchcraft hatred basi matendo ya mwili ni dhahiri ndio haya uesherati uchafu ufisadi various emulations ibada ya wrath strife sedition heresies envying ibada ya sanamu mm. uchawi uadui ugomvi wivu hasira mm. fitina faraka uzushi those evil feelings those evil feelings hayo hizo hisia za kimapepo they are the manifestation of the flesh hayo ndio udhihirisho wa kimwili and the flesh does not manifest itself unless there is a demon na mwili haujidhihirishi mpaka kuwe na pepo so when you feel evil emotions kwa hivyo wakati unahisi there is a manifestation of a demon kuna udhihirisho wa mapepo and you should rebuke that evil emotion na uvikeme in the mighty name of jesus katika jina la yesu haleluya haleluya praise jesus bwana yesu asifiwe let us give god the glory wacha tumpatie mwenyezi mungu tukufu you see unaona i am telling you by experience na kuambia kwa kupitia that when the, you feel that thing kwamba wakati unahisi hiyo kitu if for a certain you feel evil in your heart ukihisi uovu ndani ya ndani ya moyo wako you feel there is no joy unahisi hauna you feel an evil atmosphere an evil emotion unahisi uwepo wa uovu there is an attack kuna kuvamiwa in the spirit katika kiroho and the devil want to attack you maybe shiten, you are maybe shetani anataka kukuwa maybe you are prayer life labda maombi maisha yako ya maombi amen amen like me kama mimi if i am in the house wakati niko katika kwa nyumba ah uh, 6 to 7 saa 12 mpaka saa 7 saa 12 mpaka saa moja. I just feel the presence of praying ninahisi uwepo wa kuomba and before that presence come na kabla uwepo huo ukuje sometimes the devil might bring something wakati mwingine shetani anaweza leta kitu and i may feel as if i'm becoming so bad evil inside na nitahisi ni kama ninakuwa muovu ndani I I have an, a, an evil feeling. Niko na hisia ya uovu. I feel uh, my my joy is gone. Na hisi furaha yangu ni kama imeenda. And at that time I will know. Na kwa wakati huo nitajua. This is the time that I should pray. Huu ndio wakati ambapo nastahili kuomba. So the devil is attacking my prayer right. Kwa hivyo shetani anajaribu kuvamia maisha yangu ya maombi. Na nitakumbuka. This time I am supposed to be praying. Kwamba wakati huu nastahili kuwa naomba. That's why the devil is bringing this evil fear. Hiyo ndio sababu shetani analeta mawazo haya. To take away the joy of the Lord. Ili kuchukua furaha ya Bwana. When he take the joy of the Lord, wakati anachukua furaha ya Bwana. He has taken the presence of God in you. Amechukua uwepo wa Bwana ndani yako. And that presence is what enable you to pray. Na hiyo uwepo ndio itakuwezesha kuomba. So if that presence is taken away uwepo huo ukichukuliwa you will not pray hautaomba you will find yourself going around the house utajikuta unatembea tu ukizunguka kwa this corner to this corner kutoka kwenye kona hili kwenda kona nyingine and that time the devil will distract you na wakati huo shetani atakuwa anakuvuruga because he know it's your time to pray kwa sababu anajua ni wakati wako wa kuomba do you see how we become attacked je unaona vile tunavamiwa we are we become attacked tunakuwa kuvamiwa but we sense in the spirit lakini tuna tunaisikia katika roho is attacking me so much shetani ananivamia kwa hivyo nasali kukema so i am aware kwa hivyo ninajua that when i feel certain thing wakati ninahisi vitu fulani i rock myself and i begin to pray najifungia na naanza kuomba because i know kwa sababu najua the devil Shetani, you are attacking me. Ananivamia. You are removing the joy of the Lord. Anatoa furaha ya Bwana. Because you know that this is my time to pray. Kwa sababu anajua huu ndio wakati wangu wa kuomba. Haleluya. Haleluya. He may use something. Anaweza tumia kitu. He may use even your phone. Anaweza tumia hata simu yako. Somebody yako. might remove the joy of the Lord upon Mita you. Anaweza akatoa furaha ya Bwana ndani yako. Even about in your comment. Hata katika You nini can nini post a post. Unaweza ukaweka Then when you go flani. through the the, the post the, the, the comment. Kisha wakati unakwenda katika ujumbe kwa ngalia. You see somebody have 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 I've done what have punched you. Unapata mtu ni kama amekugonga pale kwa ujumbe. <laughs> And you feel bad. Alafu unahisi vibaya. That time wakati huo remember kumbuka keep the joy of the Lord upon you. I zingatia ile furaha ya Bwana ndani yako. the joy of the Lord upon you. Ishikilie furaha ile ya Bwana ndani yako. Your strength. Kwa sababu hiyo ndio nguvu yako. If you, let, if, you, if you let go the joy of the Lord. Ukiwachilia furaha iende. The devil has overcome you. Shetani amekushinda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Shall we have the joy of the Lord? Tuwe na furaha ya Bwana. Amen. Amen. Let us read Isaiah. Wacha tusome Isaiah. Let us read Isaiah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Ah 10. Pale 10. 61:10. Let us read. Wacha tusome. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. 
Nitafurahia sana katika Bwana. My soul shall be joyful in my God. Nafas, nafsi yangu itashangilia katika Mungu wangu. For he has clothed me with a garment of salvation. Maana amenivika mavazi ya wokovu. He has covered me with a robe of righteousness. Amenifunika amenifunika vazi la haki. As a bride deck himself with ornament. Kama Bwana harusi ajipambavyo. And as a bride adorn herself with jewels. Kwa kilemba cha maua. Amen. Amen. He say I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Anasema nitafurahia sana katika Bwana. My soul shall be joyful in my God. Nafsi yangu itashangilia katika For Mungu wangu. He has clothed me with a garment of salvation. Maana amenivika mavazi ya wokovu. This is the reason where, why we should rejoice. Hii ndio sababu inafanya tunasaili kuwa na furaha. Because you have you have the garment of salvation. Kwa sababu umevikwa mavazi ya wokovu. Number one, Ya kwanza. When you lose the garment of salvation. Wakati unapoteza mavazi ya wokovu. You won't have anything to smile. Hautakuwa na chochote cha kutabasamu. You won't have anything to to to, to have joy. That's the evidence. Because the joy of the Lord. It is your salvation. Amen. Amen. So if you are born again. Rejoice in your soul. Rejoice all the time. If you know you are born again. But if you are not born again. You will not rejoice. Because you are still not having salvation. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. That's why there is are different. With those that are born again and those that are not born again. The joy of the Lord. The rejoicing. They rejoice all the time. They have peace within them. They have joy of God within them. Praise Jesus. That peace is the assurance that you are born again. That peace that you feel is the assurance that you are a child of God. You have the garment of salvation. Amen. Amen. But if you don't feel that peace, my brother, you need to be born again. You need to cry for salvation and seek for salvation. Praise Jesus. How did you feel? when you are not born again do you remember that time you are feeling as if anything if you die today you go to hell you are feeling uh, within you that you, you, something is happening that you cannot even explain you did not have any joy in anything praise Jesus and your joy depended upon the things of the world but then when you remember about the end of the world <laughs> at the end of your life you become sad. Do you remember? You did not have the joy of the Lord. But now when you believe Jesus, when you become born again, the peace of God become upon you. Become your portion. There's nothing to worry about. Because I know my, I have a God who cares for me. I am a child of God. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. So those who are saved, they must have joy. But those who are not saved, they are bound. They don't have joy because they are bound. Have you ever uh, seen a, a, a slave rejoicing? They don't rejoice. Rejoicing for what? And somebody is condemned to, 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 to die. Someone is there in the prison. When he remember his life is no more. He'll never see his family. He will never have freedom to do what. He don't smile. He don't have joy. Praise Jesus. That's how it is. When you have you are saved, you, you, you have to rejoice. But if you have bound, you are in bound. You are in certain chains. There is no reason for you to smile. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. You see, there is this man that was called Mo Moses. Isaac. Isaac. That man was a, a, a devil worshipper. I knew him because we were in the same school. And he served in the kingdom of darkness so many years. No, in his confession, 
kwa ku, kwa when, he, when he converted he, he, he said wakati alibadilishwa alisema that when he was in the kingdom of darkness wakati alikuwa katika ufalme wa giza they stayed for many years walikaa kwa miaka mingi without smiling pasipo kutabasamu even tv hata meno to be seen the tv kuonekana praise jesus bwana yesu asifiwe because there there is no joy kwa sababu pale hakuna kufurahia in the kingdom of darkness kwa ufalme wa giza in hell there is no joy kule kuzimu hakuna kufurahia there is no rejoicing hakuna kufurahia what they do kila ambacho wanafanya they just clash their teeth ni kukula tu meno kusaga meno amen amen that's how it is hivyo ndivyo ilivyo so rejoicing kwa hivyo kufurahia it is an evidence ni ushuhuda kwamba that we will rejoice in heaven kwamba tutafurahia mbinguni even when you die hata wakati umekufa if in on your deathbed hata katika kitanda chako cha kifo kama hautafurahia you will go to hell direct utakwenda kuzimu kabisa <laughs> moja kwa moja but on your deathbed you feel rejoicing lakini kwa kitanda chako cha kifo unahisi kufurahia oh hallelujah oh hallelujah like stephen says kama stephen i rejoice kama i see the heaven open ninafurahia kwa maana yake ninaona mbingu imefunguka you go to mfunguka. heaven direct utakwenda mbinguni moja kwa moja your joy continues in heaven furaha yako inaendelea mbinguni but if you be grieved lakini ukiwa una you are grieving with continue even in hell huzuni yako itaendelea mpaka kuzimu may god help us to rejoice Mungu atusaidie tufurahie. That is how it is. Hivyo ndivyo ilivyo. In the kingdom of God there is rejoicing. Katika ufalme wa Bwana kuna kufurahia. But in the kingdom of darkness Lakini never they rejoice. Lakini kwa ufalme wa Mungu kwa wa, so giza, ufalme wa giza kuna hatari. They hutone. feel sorrowful, regret. Mm. Wanahisi I saw Katiperi. I saw I don't know if it's Katiperi. Uh, one of a, a, a secular gospel musician a secular musician moja kwa moja kati ya wale waimbaji wa kidunia they sold their soul to the devil waliuza nafsi zao kwa shetani and so she, they, they were regretting na kwa hivyo walikuwa na uzika wakilia sana i regret for selling my soul to the devil na jutia kwa kuuza nafsi yangu kwa shetani yes i'm famous ndio ninajulikana i have billions niko na mabilioni but on the corner lakini they cry, cry they wanalia, cry wanalia. because they don't have reason to rejoice kwa sababu hawana sababu ya kufurahia when they remember wakati wanakumbuka we will go to hell with the devil kwamba tutakwenda kuzimu na shetani that's why they don't have reason to, to, to smile hiyo ndio sababu hawana sababu ya kufurahia hallelujah. hallelujah praise the name of the lord jesus bwana yesu asifiwe but those that are in salvation lakini wale ambao wako katika uokovu even though they will go through the fire hata kama watapitia moto they still rejoice bado wanafurahia even in the fire hata katika because moto because i know kwa sababu najua even if you kill me through stones hata ukiniua kupitia kwa jiwe even you burn me hata ukinichoma or you behead me hata ukinihangia i know the end ninajua mwisho i will still rejoice bado nitafurahia hallelujah hallelujah and that is what makes you to rejoice na hiyo ndio sababu inafanya ufurahie praise the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe because you know you are hope kwa sababu unajua tumaini you know yako. You are unajua kesho yako. So you are hope. Kwa hivyo gives me the reason to smile. Tumaini yako inakupatia sababu ya kufurahia. And to rejoice. Na kufurahia. That's why they say. Ndio ndio sababu inasema. That we it cannot be compared to us. Kwamba haiwezi kafananishwa nasi. What joy will be in heaven? Ile furaha ambayo itakuwa kule juu mbinguni. And there is nothing will separate us from the love of God. Na kuna kitu kitatutenganisha na upendo wa Bwana. Even if we shall go through the fire. Hata kama tutapita kwenye moto. We have a reason to smile. Bado tuko na sababu ya kutabasamu. I know. Kwamba ninajua. I will rejoice. Nitafurahia. Because even I die. Kwa sababu hata nikikufa. I am overcome bado mimi ni mshindi amen amen praise jesus bwana yesu asifiwe that's the truth hiyo ndio kweli proverbs 17:22 methali proverbs 17:22 methali 17:22 proverbs 17:22 the word of god says this neno linasema hivi a, a merry heart does good like a medicine moyo uliyechangamka ni dawa nzuri but a broken spirit dries the bone bali roho iliyobondeka hukausha mifupa do you hear that unasikia hiyo a merry heart kwamba is like a medicine moyo uliyechangamka ni kama dawa amen amen that is the truth hiyo ndio kweli it is the truth hiyo ndio kweli and let us call the truth the truth na wacha tuite kweli kweli sometime wakati mwingine the sometime i feel as if i am weak inside wakati mwingine ninahisi ni kama niko mnyonge ndani and i i i, I feel as if i, I am just a, a, Ah uh, remaining a uh, little joy of the road na ninahisi ni kama nimebaki na furaha kidogo sana ya bwana but when i try even to smile it's not showing kwamba nikijaribu kudabasamu haionyeshi kwa uso but go 
God we use certain people. Let me tell you. And when you greet them, the way they laugh at you, the way they smile at you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. They just laugh without anything. You feel as if the medicine they are your medicine. You feel rejoicing. They give you strength because a merry heart is a medicine. Oh, glory to Jesus. It's a medicine. So when you smile, when you have joy, you are a medicine to somebody. Amen. 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 Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You are a medicine to somebody. Wewe ni dawa kwa mtu. That's how it is. Hivyo ndivyo ilivyo. The same thing that happens. Hivyo vile vile pia inafanyika. Even in the family. Hata katika familia. If your wife is sad. Kama mke wako ni akona huzuni. She kiss you inside. Anakuweka ndani pia. She tears you. Anakukata ndani pia. But if she is happy. Lakini kama ako amechangamka. Even if there was a grudges yesterday. Hata kama kulikuwa na mavutano jana. You feel okay. Unahisi uko sawa. You feel the medicine. Unahisi dawa. You see, so let us rejoice. We are medicine. You are medicine to somebody. Become a medicine. Amen. Amen. Become a medicine. Don't become what? Poison. Don't become a poison. But become a, become a medicine to someone. See, he said, a merry heart does like a medicine, but a broken heart dries the bone. Do you know, do you know this type of sickness that dries the bone? It is cancer. You will Ama. even find another verses of the scripture. Passion. Interpreting it is a it is a cancer to the bone. Because the sickness that makes you to dry, they dry your bone. Kwa sababu magonjo ambayo inakufanya mifupa yako kuwa kwa kansa. Ni kansa. So if you want, kwa hivyo kama unataka, to kill people, kuwa watu, then then don't rejoice. Usifurahie. Show that kind of bitterness. Onyesha hiyo machungu. You will become cancer in their bones. Utakuwa kansa katika mifupa yao. They will die. Salatani. Watakufa. They die when they are still alive. You, 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 you kill your marriage. Utaua ndoa yako. Sister Regina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we listening? Je, tunasikia? Are you listening? Unasikiza. Those are just the, the nini. Right on nini. Amen. <laughs> Not them. Yanuku mahali. Amen. Amen. That if you want your husband to die, kwamba ukitaka mume wako akufe, then don't smile. Usitabasamu. Don't smile. Usitabasamu. You show him how much you are bitter. Vile uko na machungu. How much you are angry. Vile umegadhabika. You will continue to make him rot inside. Utaendelea kumfanya aoze ndani. But when you smile, lakini wakati unatabasamu. Even if his heart is sick, hata kama moyo wake una machungu. Bible say it will be a medicine to him. Biblia inasema kwamba itakuwa dawa kwa yeye. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There is power in rejoicing. Kuna nguvu katika kufurahia. So when you rejoice, kwa hivyo wakati unafurahia, it touches people. Inagusa watu. And people become moved. Na watu wanasukumwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Even when we are preaching, hata wakati tunahubiri, we are outside. Pale nje. Preach in rejoicing. Fundisha katika kufuraha. And when you will be rejoicing, na wakati utakuwa unafurahia, you will become a medicine to people. Some people are rotting inside. They just need to see a smile. When they see you a smile, it is over. You, have, you carry them away. You carry them away with their teaching. And they understand. But if you add another bitterness, you are adding poison to them. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So we need to rejoice all the time and again rejoice. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Human. We are created to rejoice. Tumeumbwa tukapate kufurahia. Those who do not rejoice. Wale ambao hawafurahi. Or those who have bitterness. Ama wale ambao wako na machungu. Those who become angry. Ama wale ambao wanakuwa na asira. You cannot become angry and be beautiful. Awezi ukakuwa na asira na ukue mzuri. When you are angry. Wakati uko na asira. Even if you are beautiful or handsome. Ata kama wewe ni mzuri. You become like a devil. Unakuwa kama shetani. Do you understand? Je unaelewa? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why rejoice. Hiyo ndio sababu ufurahie. Even if you 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 are angry. Hata kama umekasirika. When you rejoice, you become beautiful. 
Amen. Hata kama Hallelujah. Amen. You become beautiful. Unakuwa mzuri. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So look at yourself when you are angry. Kwa hivyo jiangalie wakati Look at the mirror. Angalie jiangalie kwa kio. That is the image of the demon. Hiyo ni mfano wa pepo ambao utaona. That is the image of the demon. Hiyo ndio mfano wa pepo ambao utaona. Furious like a like a dragon. Ambaye imekasirika kama kile kiumbe dragon. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So try to paint your face with joy. Kwa hivyo jaribu kuweka furaha katika uso wako. Paint with rejoicing. Iweke iwe katika furaha. And you maintain. Na uishikilie hivyo. Amen. Amen. Because you have been told that uh, that that uh, that that heart. Kwa sababu tumeambiwa kwamba that huo, that that, that, that uh, uh, a merry heart does good like a medicine. Moyo uliochangamka mm. ni dawa nzuri. It does good like a medicine. Ni dawa nzuri. But a broken spirit dries the bone. Lakini bali roho iliyobondoka ukausha mifupa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So just smile and rejoice. Kwa hivyo tabasamu na ufurahie. Is there grudges? Je, kuna machungu? Just paint the joy of the Lord. Weka tu furaha ya Bwana. And you bring healing. Healing in relationship. Na healing in marriage. Utaleta healing uponyaji. in everywhere. Utaleta uponyaji kila sehemu. It is medicine. Ni dawa. And when we we sing when we are we are we are rejoicing na wakati tunafurahia it is medicine ni dawa amen amen it is medicine when ni we dawa. preach when we are rejoicing wakati tunahubiri wakati tunafurahia it is medicine ni dawa when we are doing everything but we are rejoicing wakati tunafanya kila kitu lakini tunafurahia it is a medicine ni dawa pia praise jesus bwana yesu asifiwe let me ask you wacha nikueleze when you go to buy mango wakati unakwenda kununua maembe and the the, the seller na yule muuzaji that you are buying to from ambaye unanunua kutoka kwake he is not happy hajafurahia hey. he give you he, he give you the 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 the, the mango anakupatia maembe give her the money unampatia pesa she does not tell you even thank you asemi hata asanti she is disfigured her face amekunja mana uso wake she is angry ako na hasira she seem like she is going through bitterness anaonekana ni kama anapitia machungu Hey, you look at the mango. Unaangalia maembe alafu unaangalia juma. Hey, will I take this mango? Je, nitakula hili yembe? Or she is a witch. Ama ni mchawi. Do you see? Unaona? Because anything that you do without rejoicing. Kwa sababu kila kitu ambacho unafanya pasipo furaha. Poisonous. Inakuwa sumu. But when we do things with rejoicing. Lakini tukifanya vitu na furaha. They become sweet. Inakuwa tamu. So if you are selling to people mango, kwa hivyo kama unauzia watu maembe, sell to them when you are rejoicing. Uza kama unafurahia. And when they eat it will be sweet to them. Na wakati wataikula itakuwa tamu kwao. Because of your smile. Kwa sababu ya tabasamu lako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let me tell you. Acha nikwambie. Rejoicing all the time is good. Kufurahia kila wakati ni mzuri. And it is benefiting. Na ina manufaa. Amen. Amen. When you rejoice, wakati unafurahia, people can love in people can fall in love with you. Watu wanaweza wakapendwa waka na wewe. Kama wewe wewe uelewi. Wewe uelewi. When you rejoice, people fall in love with you. Wakati unafurahia, watu wanapendezwa na wewe. But when Amen. you don't rejoice, lakini wakati haufurahi, people pushes you away. Watu wanakusukuma. I mba. don't want to be to be associated with this man. Sitaki kuhusiana na wewe because i see there's nothing good in you kwa sababu ninaona hakuna kitu kizuri but when you are rejoicing lakini wakati unafurahia they want they feel attracted to you wanahisi kuvutiwa na wewe they want to speak to you wanataka kunena na wewe you give them a room to speak to you unawapatia sehemu ya kunena na wewe praise jesus even if you are evangelist hata kama wewe ni mwanajeshi you are rejoicing and smiling to people when you are preaching to them na una unafurahia na unafurahia na una wakati wa those people become relieved how watu wanahisi kufunguliwa released wanahisi kufunguliwa and they They will, they will open up their heart to you na watafungua mioyo yao kwako but when you speak to them lakini wakati ukiwazungumzia like a police kama police you are very serious uko 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 na umakinifu sana and you are very like you are combated to 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 fight them na ni kama uko tayari hata kuwapiga see there are people who hold the bible like this unaona kuna watu wanabeba biblia hivi that if you dare ask me kwamba hata ukijaribu kumuuliza kitu i will slap you with, with the bible na biblia you those people how watu When you tell them thing wakati unawaambia kitu they answer as if it's a command wanajibu ni kama ni amri and they say na wanasema ha now i have peace because he have left 
Sasa niko na amani kwa sababu ameenda. I, ju- I just wanted him to leave. To leave, leave me. Tu aende, Because alimata. I feel he's not that. He, I feel he, no, he's no, no, no for him. Kwa sababu ni nahisi ni kama siko sawa. But there is somebody who can come to to you. Lakini kuna mtu anaweza kuja kwako. And you say that man. Na unasema uh, where, where is your church? Kanisa lako liko I want to, I want to hear more. Nataka kusikia zaidi. Because you come with the presence of rejoicing. Kwa sababu umekuja na uwepo wa kufurahia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see? Unaona? We need to exercise this rejoicing everywhere. Tunawe tunastahili kuifanyia kazi furaha hii kila mahali. Exercise rejoicing everywhere. Tuifanyie kazi kila mahali. So that we may attract people to our kingdom. Niposa tukapate kuwavutia watu kwa ufalme wetu. Amen. Amen. You see when we are rejoicing? Unaona wakati tunafurahia. We are carrying a good letter. Tunabeba ujumbe mzuri. You are carrying a good Unabeba a good letter. Unabeba ujumbe but mzuri. when you are not rejoicing, Lakini wakati ya ufrai, you are carrying a bad letter. Unabeba ujumbe mbaya. Kweli ama rogo. When you have a letter, wakati uko na barua, a good letter, ujumbe mzuri, and you are carrying mzuri. it like this. Na unaibeba hivi. You smile. Unatabasamu. People know, hey, what, what kind of a letter is that? Watu wanas, hey. wanas, ujiuliza ni barua hey, ina gani hivi. Wase. Ni ya kwetu. But if you are carrying a bad letter, lakini ukibeba ujumbe mbaya, It's like a register for death. Ni kama kitabu cha kifo. When people look at you, wakati watu wanakuangalia, we sense this is not a good letter. Wanatambua kwamba hii si ujumbe mzuri. What is there in that letter? Kile ambacho kiko katika ujumbe kitabu nini? True or false? Kweli ama uongo? You are a, a letter. Wewe ni barua. Present a good letter. Peana ujumbe mzuri. Before people read you, mbele ya watu, they have they have known If it's a good letter or a bad letter. Kabla watu watajua kwamba hii ni ujumbe mzuri ama ujumbe mbaya. If it's a good report or a bad report. Kama ni ripoti nzuri ama ni ripoti mbaya. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You see even in when we are doing the video editing. Unaona wakati hata tunafanya nini kukagua nini hiyo sema. There is a background. Kuna sehemu. There is a breaking news. Kama kuna the type, ina, ina, ina the type of of report that are coming. Nini ile ujumbe ambao unakuja you put a background unaweka kizuizi mani which is a shaking ambayo fear inaweka uoga ina, ina and uoga. when you feel that you hear that background na wakati unahisi this, this report this is breaking news hii ujumbe amen amen but if there's a good report lakini kama kuna ujumbe mzuri you hear ting 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 you will hear some melodies Uta, utasikia nini wimbo nyingi so pale so that is how it is hivyo ndivyo ilivyo we have background Tukona. so you are a letter kwa hivyo wewe ni ujumbe how barua. you present yourself it is a letter jinsi unavyojionyesha ji, ni barua when you go outside wakati unakwenda pale nje become a good letter kuwa barua nzuri you see Unaona? we are told to preach the good news tunaambiwa tuhubiri injili nzuri because you have a letter of kwa, good news kwa sababu wewe ni barua ya ujumbe mzuri to those that are oppressed kwa wale ambao wanavunji wana... tell them to rejoice kuambia kwamba wapate kufurahia wale ambao wamefungwa to tell them that you can now be set free kwamba ukawaambia kwamba wanaweza kuwa huru the condemned wale ambao wamehukumiwa you can now be set free wanaweza wekwa huru pia so we carry the good news kwa hivyo tunabeba ujumbe mzuri if you have the good news kama umebeba ujumbe mzuri stop be like you are carrying a, a, a condolence as a book wacha wacha kukani kama umebeba nini ujumbe wa kuuzunia or, or that, that book for nini maziko inaitwa nini <laughs> fair wewe that book is called what Do you know ile, that book? Ile kitabu, Where people read in the uh, uh, on the barrio. Ile kitabu ambacho kinasomwa pale kwa mazishi. You are not carrying a fair wire. Au bibi kitabu hicho. Euroje. Euroje. Good. Euroje. You are not carrying a Euroje book. Au bibi hicho kitabu. <laughs> you are carrying a good book, a good news. Unabeba kitabu kizuri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So present yourself as a good letter. Kwa hivyo jionyeshe pale nje kama ujumbe mzuri. Not uh, Euroje. <laughs> Sio huyo hiyo kitabu cha uzuri. Sit Euroje. <laughs> Yoology. You see those people that come with theology. Unaona watu wanakuja na hicho kitabu. Kinakuwa kiusi. Yoology. And some even the 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 they are wengine wanashikiliwa. Amen. Oh God. Mungu tu. Is that how you present yourself? Hivyo ndivyo unajionyesha kule nje. In the spirit. Katika roho. Carry the good news. Beba ujumbe mzuri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I come with the good news. Na ukuje na ujumbe mzuri. I come to tell you. Na kuja kukuambia. That Jesus saves. Kwamba Yesu anaokoa. I am saved. Kwa sababu mimi nimeokolewa. Have a good spirit within you. Kuwa na roho mzuri ndani yako. Rejoice within you. Furahia ndani yako. Be confident. Kuwa na uwa, I am rejoicing. Kwamba niko na furaha. Since I, I knew Jesus. Tangu nimjue Yesu. I'm not regretting. Si si nini si juti. I am satisfied. Nimeridhika. I am rejoicing. Ninafurahia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, brother Edin, brother Nani, are you hearing? 
Rejoice in the kingdom of God. That since you come to Jesus, when the people look at you, let them say, Brother Eliud, tell me about this Jesus. I see your life has changed. You have the joy of the Lord. Tell me the secret of this joy. And they will admire your salvation. But when you don't show them the joy of the Lord, they will say, let me stay with my demon. <laughs> because as I look those that are born again, <laughs> I, see, I see they are also bounded. <laughs> they are not uh, smiling. <laughs> Do you see? Unaona? Because people are looking at us. Kwa sababu watu wanatuangalia sisi. Let us become a good report. Wacha tuwe ujumbe mzuri. The gospel is all about the good news. Nini injili ni juu tu ya ujumbe mzuri. Present the good news. Peana ujumbe mzuri. So when we are serving let us serve in joy. Kwa hivyo wakati tunatumika wacha tutumike katika furaha. Amen. Amen. Olivia when you are serving, serve in joy. Even when all people go, they don't care who washes this place. And you begin washing. Wash in joy. Rejoicing. I am mobbing the house of God. I'm rejoicing. That even the neighbor when they see you, they would see you as if you are mistreated. <laughs> or you are being oppressed. You are mobbing when you are worshiping, unaosha wakati unaabudu. Anji wa Bwana. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They will not see as if you are being used. Hawataona ni kama unatumika. They will even uh, say, "Eh, hey, can I come and help you?" Watasema, "Eh, nikuja nikusaidie." I feel as if they are, it is, you are enjoying. This, this thing is You are enjoying. Una, una sana. Amen? Amen. Who do not want something to enjoy? Nani we kitu all kufraia. want to enjoy. Kila so kufraia. even if it is a little thing, Ata kama ni kitu if you kidogo. see people doing things rejoicing, Ukiona watu ah, kitu you say, and it must be good. Hii and you, 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 you feel attracted to do it also. Na so pia. serve in joy. Kwa hivyo, yes, sing in joy. Imba katika furaha. Pray in joy. Omba katika furaha. Preach in joy. Ubihi katika Do furaha. everything. Fanya kila kitu. In the joy of the Lord. Kwa furaha ya bwana. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Kwa sababu furaha ya bwana ndio nguvu yetu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Lord has made. How we rejoice. How we rejoice. This is the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made.
Lord Jesus Christ to restore the joy of the Lord upon you. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. In the mighty name of Jesus. And tell the Lord to remove everything that might be draining the joy of the Lord upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit, every stumbling cross. Get us the joy of the Lord upon you. Tell him to remove it upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. For the kingdom of God is about rejoicing. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Whatever that is taking away the joy of the Lord upon my soul, upon my spirit, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is distracting my joy, the joy of the Lord upon me, I bring it out in the name of Jesus. Are they the cares of the world? Are they pain and their affliction? Are they reports? Are they racking family? Is there anyone that is taking the way? Taking away the joy of the Lord. I refuse in the mighty name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord. Jesus Christ. I pray the joy of the Lord upon me. Upon my soul. Upon my spirit. In the day. The days of the trials. In the mountain. In sorrows. I pray that the joy of the Lord remain upon me. Oh God. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. For our joy cannot be moved, oh God, from this world. Our joy cannot be found in the things of this world. Our joy cannot be in people. Our joy cannot be in money. Our joy cannot be in your pocket. Our joy is in the Lord Jesus. Jesus, you are the source of the joy. Jesus, you are the source of peace. You are the peace of the world. You promise that you shall give us peace that the world does not know. That the peace that we pray, Jehovah God, that fill us with your peace, Almighty God. Fill us with your peace, Almighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that your peace be upon us, Jehovah God. We pray for your peace upon our soul. We pray your joy in the name of Jesus. Any wickedness, any anger in my heart, let it be removed in Jesus' name. Any anger of bitterness upon you, any spirit of wrath, any spirit of strife, any spirit of revenge, any spirit of bitterness that might be in your heart, let it be removed in the name of Jesus, my taking of glory. May you cleanse our spirit, cleanse our soul, paint them with the joy of the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you said the world will not offer joy. The world will not, cannot offer the joy, cannot offer the peace. But you say that the, you are the peace, Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. May you bring peace upon their heart. Bring peace upon the marriage. Bring peace upon families. Bring peace upon the, the sisters, brothers, even the children, even the youth. Let the peace of God be found in them. In the name of Jesus. And I declare, you devil of oppression, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I cast you out in Jesus' name. You devil and the spirit of anger, the spirit of feeling sorry, affliction and torment pain and rejection and depression I bind you in the name of Jesus I command you free in Jesus name the joy of the Lord is our strength we are the children of God and there is no room for you devil we have peace of God we have joy of the Lord I declare joy of God upon you right now peace of God upon you right now in the name of Jesus receive peace Receive the joy of the Lord. Receive the grace of God. Receive the rejoicing in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, let the, 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 the super, uh, super uh, joy that come from you. That is extraordinary that the world cannot know. Let it remain upon each and every of us right now. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of God. You are peace. You are peace. The Spirit of God, you are peace. You are joy. 
I pray that gift upon you right now. Receive the gift of joy. Receive the gift of rejoicing. Receive peace in the name of Jesus. Peace upon your soul. Peace upon your spirit. Peace in your mind. Peace in Jesus' name. I cast you fear out in Jesus' name. Condemnation out in Jesus' name. Any fear, any doubt out in Jesus' name. And I pray peace. Peace and joy of God upon you. In the name of Jesus. We do pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank you.